okay, I've been working on this holster a bit, and uh, let me um, explain a bit what I've done. I've got the outside piece glued to the inside piece, and also I've cut and I've attached the welt. As you can see, I decided to go ahead and dye the inside of it. I figure, you know, it'll look a lot better that way if the whole thing, if it's all the same color. See about how the about how the gun's going to sit in there. It's going to sit in there like that. Right now, I'm punching the holes. Because this is lined, I'm going to have to do a, a stitch all the way around it, including this part where I'm going to stitch it together. But right now, I'm punching the stitch holes for that step. And after I punch all these stitch holes. Then I'm going to go ahead and bevel the edges and do all the uh, all the die work and um, burnishing on the edges after that. Then I can do the stitching, the perimeter stitch. Attach my hold down strap. I've changed the design of the hold down strap a little bit. So I had to uh, widen this hole a bit. And actually this hold down strap is from another gun I did and I like the way the strap came out on it so I'm going to go ahead and do basically the same kind of thing with this one and it's going to sit about about like that Gun's going to sit there and then it's going to come across well it's got to go down a little bit lower across the hammer and snap down there but I'm going to end it a lot shorter like right about there that way it won't interfere with this strap going across here. Also on the belt loop, I went ahead, where am I? I went ahead and cut it to length and rounded the corners just to give it a more finished look. Yeah, it's going to be in the back, but you know, still just because it's in the back doesn't mean you don't want it to look good. So let's see, the belt loop is going to sit about like that. So, I'm going to get back to punching these stitch holes. I'm just using the two prong chisel where I'm on the curves. Then when I hit the straights, I go with the four holer and I can really scoot along with that. I'm going to go ahead and punch some more holes and do the beveling and the edge work and we'll come back and see how far I've gotten. See you then.